Hey students, so on today's video, um, we are doing lab 2.1, which is actually a continuation of a lab that we've already done, which is lab 1.3. Um, the whole point of this lab in 2.1 is actually taking some code that we've already written and simplifying it even more. So um, I'm going to show you the first part on two shapes. So you can see right here to the left, I have a, um, a shape right here where I'm drawing a square. You can see it's a series of uh, 75 steps and then 90 degree turns. So if I click this right here on my left side of my screen, you can see it draws a square. Um, it's pretty simple. And then, but what we want to do for this one is actually turn it into um, a square. But instead of doing these steps where we have it each laid out very specifically, we have each step move 75, move 90. We want to take these repetitive steps and actually do something a little bit more programmatic. We want to add a loop so that we can do this same programmatic step four different times. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a repeat block right here. Um, so we know that the exact same thing that we're doing right here is that we're only really doing two different things. We're moving 75 steps and we're turning 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I want to put it inside this repeat block and I want to click four. So now what this is going to do is it's basically going to move my sprite around four times doing these two things. Um, a loop it was basically just repeating these same actions and then continuing on to the next step. So I'm going to put this right here, move pen down in front, move pen up right here. And you can see that outside. When I click, I draw a square. So a good way to demonstrate too what this is doing is maybe to clear and then put two instead. It's not click and put two. So I'm going to clear it one more time. Now you can see if I only repeat this two times, it's going to step 75, turn 90, step 75, turn 90, and then stop. So you can see this repeat block really just loops through this repetitive code. So instead of having this massive block that you can see up here, I'm really only doing that same thing, except in much less code. I'm going to do the same thing for a pentagon as well. So I have these two steps. Now, you can tell if I do this several different times, if I click clear, what I get is a pentagon. You can see that right here in my lower left corner of my stage. Um, and I want to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to click down here, move my pen up a little bit. I'm going to get repeat. I'm going to go ahead and snap it in right there and then click five because, of course, a Pentagon has five sides. We want to repeat this code five separate times. I'm going to attach a pen down and pen up. I'm going to click clear. I'm going to move my sprite right there to the middle of the screen. I'm going to do this one more time. And you can see right there, you can see my sprite traveling just a little bit up there in the stage. You can kind of see it as it lags on each step. But the whole point of these loops is that we have this code. We have this block right here where essentially we're doing the same thing several different times. You know, the whole point of, you know, being able to program is being able to do these things, but doing it in an easier and more programmatic way. And this control tab right here in Snap allows us to do that. And that is how you get started on Lab 2.1.